Oops, time ran out. Yeah, Instagram kind of dies out at one hour. I'm almost back to my place. So I'm gonna bring Tosh on and then I'm gonna go back and show you the first bounce and how I came on the first bounce. Maybe that'd be kind of cool to show people. But let me see, let me see how time permits. Where you at, Mr. Bradley? Here we go. Hey, what's hey, up, much, dude? Hey, much better. You cleaned up. Much better, man. I clean it, dude. I've been growing out like a grizzly, man. Alex is just making me eat all this steak and uh. Did and you kick beers. out your? Did you just go kick out all your Tinder babes? That you dude, I actually <laughs> last night was one of the first times I uh I, I went out with one of these chicks in a long time. I was trying to focus on MIC and members, and I was like, the uh, the Wolverines coming out, baby. No, I was trying to talk. Girls on the death line, bro. You avoid the death line. <laughs> Dude, I death line hard last night. I'm not going to lie. I went to, uh, uh, I, I'm staying up north right now with family because I'm, I'm old right now. And holy shit, bro. I had to drive like two hours to see this chick, but it was well worth it. Okay. That's, uh, moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but. Everybody, I got a Q&A today. Um, I got a new member orientation webinar at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Tuesday or every Wednesday. Um, come in if you're new to MIC, if you have questions, if you want things answered, I'm going to give you a lay of the land. I'm going to do a Q&A at the end and just make sure you're up to speed with everything and, and uh, MIC strategies, come with questions, come with everything. So that'd be cool. Oh, yeah. I guess I forgot to tell all the events. <laughs> yeah, usually Alex, week, does, Alex usually does the events. So wait, a couple <laughs> items. Uh, August 17th is our big one-year anniversary in Philadelphia. We have an open meetup free for everybody that shows up. We rented out this amazing space. Okay? And then on Monday, August 19th, is a live training seminar conducted myself, Alex, and a bunch of other people. So that's open for a lifetime and annuals. But the first event is completely free. Come meet other traders, socialize, and we'll see, man. Maybe... Maybe if you show enough, uh, if you show enough like hunger, you, you, we'll let you into the uh, the the live training seminar too, dude. I've I've let a lot of people that you know I couldn't afford it into the club. I've had a lot of people that are hungry that feel like you know what I'm saying like really want to learn into these events. So come out and say hi to us. And and believe it or not, dude, we're, we're still not a year. It's amazing. We are in July. August 17th is our one-year anniversary. And uh, Tosh, uh, every Wednesday, he has a new member webinar uh, for the members. And we have two webinars every week. Tosh is on Wednesday at 2 p.m. And Aloha, Aloha Trader. Aloha Trader does 7 p.m. market time, two hours every Thursday. And between those two, they also take daily phone calls. This is like insane, huh? Yeah, every single day. Every single day. Monday through Friday, we all have our time slots. Mine's uh, 2.30 Eastern Standard Time to close. Hit me up. DM me. Uh, most people just DM. We do two to five calls a day, whatever it is. Guys, seriously, if you need help, like, you have to reach out. Like, we have every single resource at MIC, but it's up to you to, like, come to us and be like, hey, Tosh, you know, I'm really having trouble with X, Y, Z. And, like, we'll guide you, man. I'll get you on the phone, and I'll, I, we'll really delve into your – like whatever's ailing your process. So we'll yeah, that's that's why I keep telling, that's why I keep telling everybody we are not just a chat room, man. This is a full blown mentorship program. Yeah, and it's like one hundred seventy nine dollars a month, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, one phone call with Tosh is more than one hundred seventy nine bucks a month. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can you can talk to him every day if you like, uh, and that surprises me because not everybody takes advantage of that. Um, but you know, you know, it's all up on you on how you want to learn. But the resource is all there, man. There's over 400 videos. I, I fucking mentor every freaking day. Alex mentors every day. Tosh and Aloha actually get on the phone with you one-on-one. All for yeah, free, it's dude. A lot of all fun. included in the cost. It's a lot of fun, man. We just yep. find out what's wrong, man. And, and if you guys don't know how to use hard stops, if you guys don't know what fantasy lines are, OC orders, like we delve that out. So if you're losing 
and hitting your max loss every day, I'm going to tell you how to kind of like remedy that. And hopefully you don't the next day go unprepared in the mental, the psychology side of everything, because that's what this is. So. That's the thing I don't understand. People are losing more than $108 a trade, but yep. they're like, I can't afford it. I'm like, dude, you're fucking bleeding every day. Sign up, sign up for <laughs> one month and get access to 400 videos. It's going to teach you not to lose. Dude, you, you sign up for one month. You get a fucking phone call every week with Tosh and Aloha Trader. And stop, dude. They're, we, we, I think we're actually fucking losing money. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're talking, yeah, we're terrible. We're terrible. Yeah. And like, I see these other guys meet me for $8,000. And here you are. We, you, get, we, you know, there's daily phone calls every fucking day if you want it. $8,000? You know? so I have to give you my full trading setup to make that worthwhile. <laughs> like, you can have yeah. all my computers. <laughs> yep. So take advantage of that. And, uh, yeah, man, it's... And like I said, man, the reason I bounced back from the big loss is a couple of things. My experience. But beyond my experience, I'm still human. I'm still a normal human. A human, a normal human being with emotions. Too much emotion. Fear. Embarrassment. Greed. You name it, dude. And so, MIC family, hell, we have a channel called The After Hours where it's like lively pretty much 24-7. I'm there until like midnight. 2 a.m. just talking to guys. And that's how I got over my my shit yesterday because I was I mean fuck I'm a human being dude I mean just I mean losing you know it fucking hurts regardless of who you are you know everybody is, is hurt for some other reason money embarrassment ego whatever, whatever the reason may be but it, you know and so being being there fucking helps man I, so I thank all the guys at MIC that listen to all this stuff and then at the same time we turn the you know the losing trade into an education on how to bounce back and what not to do and so today, I, you know, I came up with a bunch of affirmations. I, I came up with a bunch of rules, and I fucking read it in the morning, and I fucking executed. I'm, I'm back in the matrix, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, it's like, Val, everybody needs someone to talk to, right? That's why I was like, I was mad at you, man. I was like, Val, you got to call me, man. When Alex is out of town, just call me when you're I, fucking CEI, I, man. I'm not, I mean, the thing is, dude, I was not really stuck. The stuck was basically 15 fucking minutes. No, it was so fast. I was telling Alex, he was like, man, fuck, dude, I wasn't there. I feel so bad, you know, and then Val took a loss. And I'm like, honestly, Alex, I don't even think he had time to react, bro. It was like five to nine faster than you can shake a stick, man. It was crazy. Uh, so, so, I mean, just, yeah, it was the, uh, timing. I'm the sort of guy that don't like to talk after the fact. Because what the fuck? I mean, I already know what I should have done or not done, yeah. right? Um, the, the the thing that I keep telling people with the tab, right, the training accountability, it's, it's to prevent shit like this from happening. Yeah, it's before prevented. you even get in the trade, it's it's to have your buddy be like, wait, wait, why are you taking that trade to Correct. begin with? Yep, yeah. So, Tosh, this is a great thing that we can implement to tell people. So, yeah. you know how the tabs, like, dude, mimic a trading pit. So, if you have a tab, maybe bring out, like, a iPad or something, and everybody gets into a, a Skype, group Skype, or a FaceTime, and yep. trade fucking together. Because then you can start screaming out, like, I'm in the sticker, I'm, I'm, I'm buying here, I'm selling here. And so, like, fuck, if we're in the trading pit, someone's going to slap me. What the fuck are you doing? Shorting CEI. Yeah. I mean, Before I mean it even like, it's like if MIC is your main room, man, like it is for me. Like, I'm in MIC main room every single day. After hours is fun. But, you know, I've always had, for six years, I've always had, like, one or two buddies that I'm in a private chat with. And we're trading the exact same way. That these are my go-to buds. These are the guys that are getting my back and making sure I'm seeing the right line and, and making yep. sure I'm showing them the right line. And, and it's like you can have a subsequent chat and there's so many resources out there like um, like uh, Slack can do two calls. You know, you can do, God, you can do FaceTime audio calls with like five different people. You can wow. do Skype. Skype, there's so many options. Uh, Discord's yeah. one that you can use on the side for free. Like there's so many things that you can do. And even in Slack, you can do, I think, up to like six people as like at least texting and not call. So, oh, okay. Group chat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, group chat. So you, you have resources, man. Like, get a partner. Network your ass off when you come in at MIC. We have so many good guys, good girls now, man. Like, it's insane, man. There are so many good people. It's such a supportive community. And someone wants to learn from somebody who has that information to provide to them. So find that person and flush it out together, man. Seriously, flush it out together. Yeah, man. It's, that's, that's the key, man. So... So another thing I realized, the tab, man. So I broke my rules, like I said, uh, because of the tab. I'm back in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Show us the golf cart. Where's the golf cart? <laughs> the one golf cart. <laughs> Maybe I'll take that shit out. <laughs> oh, man. Val, you lost the golf cart yesterday. <laughs> you got to find that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, I've lost more than a golf cart. <laughs> but, oh, shit. What car are you driving today? Uh, I know all, all those beautiful buckle. cars, but I know you're going to drive like a scooter down the street. <laughs> Fucking Uber, bro. <laughs> Val's the, the only guy I know with like the most beautiful car collection in his house, and like is like, man, this Honda Accord looks good. This Uber looks good. This like rollerblade looks good. <laughs> Dude, I had, I had one. I was so bored before I started MIC. I was gonna do, uh, do Uber for fucking like, but for like uh, like uh, hospitals for fun. Like if someone wanted like a like a what you call it a uh, someone drive them to a chemotherapy session, shit like that. Um, I was like, fuck, what if I got, I got my Ferrari out or my fucking, <laughs> or the Bentley out. <laughs> oh, well, then, you just, then you just look like an asshole in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you know, taking them to the, you know, like their chemo sessions and stuff like that. So, uh, walking my office now. So. No, that's but Yeah, so, dude. Yeah, it's, um... But a tab is, getting back to this, a tab is fucking great, dude. That would have prevented me fucking from losing. And so you see how many layers of defense that we help you guys build to make sure you don't fucking take the big loss, right? <sighs> yeah, like one of the things about it, like honestly, because I know you were talking earlier about big losses. So my my biggest problem in trading uh, my whole life, and, and not so much anymore because I really implement hard stops, but man, you guys don't even know like the things that we teach at MIC. This is six years of me, six years of Alex, 16 years of bow getting squeezed our balls off that we have learned what doesn't <laughs> fucking work. So, it's so like, talk about the stops. Talk about how dude, stops have changed your life, dude. Dude, hard stops, man. I barely trade right now. So, Val, I'm I'm technically short right now. I think I'm short VLRX and uh, what's it? OBLN. I got to tell you, man, I got hard stops in place. Like, I don't care what happens. I could go for a hike. I could go do an IG Live. I could do whatever I want. I come back. My, my stops do all the trading. So Dude, that's, that's how, fucking awesome. I, I just kind of trade like a prop firm nowadays, man. And I'm like, you know what? I make all my money within the th first 30, 45 minutes. And then if my stops haven't hit on my fantasy cover. So like, if I'm short, like, what's a good example today? So I shorted into the VWAP um, push on VLRX today at like 4, 403, I'm assuming. whatever. All right, is. let's do this. Tosh, we, we're running out of time. So I do this for the guys, okay? As, as, yeah. That's watching. Um, Show them your method, your process. Talk about your process of doing the stops and how you do the stops and when you do the stops and yeah, yeah. your money I mean, like, like it's 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 as simple as this. So if I, I'm gonna break it down really easily. If if a stock is I only short backside, so if a stock and I only short, so I don't long stocks, if a stock is breaking down pre-market, I am shorting at a fantasy order line, whatever uh, up to so I'm scaling into a fantasy order line and then whatever the First wash is I am covering half my position. Now I go much bigger size than I used to back back in the day. So that first wash is 100% worth taking. So say I make $400 like that. I am instantly now setting a hard stop at break even or just a little bit above if I'm willing to risk like a couple hundred bucks, right? Like I'm up 400 bucks. I'm, I'm willing to risk like two or 300 bucks for, or break even or fantasy cover. So that 400 is either 400 or by the end of the day, if I get triggered, it's 1500. So the whole point is then I walk away, but you have to pay yourself to play to even. So your mental never gets fucked up. That's oh, yes. So That's what easy. you, so what you do is you stick around until you pay yourself half the position. I stick, on the yeah, first so probably, it, about honestly, it takes anywhere from two to 15 to uh, anywhere from two to 15 minutes usually, because my entries are usually pretty good. I'm waiting for that one confirmation, no anticipation. I'm like, there it is. There's the how, is, how is your entry so good? Help, help. The lines, right? <laughs> Dude, fantasy order. So, you know, what? let me plug my phone in. Uh, so this one guy, you know, I got on a call with, the, with a guy the other day, and he was like, or yesterday, and he was like, you know, Tosh, my starters, I, I, I'm getting in, and, you know, I'm not using necessarily fantasy orders, but I'm getting in as starters. And I'm, when it drops, you know, kind of like what you do, I, I can't pay myself because it's not enough. And I said, okay, here's what we're going to start doing with your strategy. I said, dude, fuck all that. Fuck the starters. You know what we're going to do? You're only going to hit fantasy orders, fantasy lines. So if you're if you're shorting at like 370, but you want that four whole dollar number. You see, uh, the problem is the offer. Hit at four, but double down what you would usually do or triple down. Because if you start at 370, you're throwing a small starter. And then say you top take and it breaks down. It's not worth it because maybe you only have 200 shares. Maybe you only have 700 shares. I don't know. So throw 2,000 at four, 
give yourself a very, very, very tight risk, maybe 410, because you're not scaling. Uh, to that's smart. Use so, a Pharisee order. Hit if you miss, you miss. Harder. You miss, you miss. If you miss, you miss. Dude, it's fucking You're right, you're right. Wins. That's a very good point. So if you so, don't have a big enough account size to scale, why the fuck are you starting early? Why? So whatever your starter would be is not a starter anymore. Whatever your second ad is now your starter, but your starter. Ah, fuck, that's, that's, ge that's genius, bro. Starter's much that, that is genius. You, you see, this is the, the, the great thing about having a bunch of different guys at MIC because I've been doing way too long that I don't see these things that people are dealing with, right? Yeah, I, I, get buy, it, I, bro, I get it every day through 100 PMs. Yeah. I, I see everything that the, the, that the masses of traders at MIC are doing bad at. So I'm trying to create like a curriculum of like, oh, man, like I hear this five times a day or I hear this. Hey, 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 hey Todd, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna like this. So <laughs> I, came back, I, I'm gonna, I came back from my uh, – <laughs> I came back from my IG walk. I had fantasy fucking orders in the fucking head. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This is this VL is what Bao does. This is why he drives me and Alex crazy. So VLRX. Yeah. So this is yep. the chart for VLRX. So in the morning, I fucking nailed the the fucking top of the top of here. Where is it? Right like there. Yeah, Bao. That's so why I, I hit the VWAP push. Yeah. Yep. yep. And then, so when I left, I was like fucking pissed, right? It fucking went down without me, right? Because remember, I left at ten thirty to do the IG live, and then um. I left it at the 380 line. It fucking hit me twice, and I just fucking took the cover. I made like fucking over 12 cents on this shit. Just fucking while well, well, I was doing IG live, dude. That's fucking freaking, orders. That's awesome, man. <laughs> You've got a process that's so down to like this specific criteria of what you love and what you know that you go live life and you're still making money, and that's the key. Yep. Like, Channel trading has never been my thing, man. I every time I try it, I'm a little too emotional. As long as it's under view off right here, see. So I place it here and that's it. I mean, if it fucking goes over and I can stop out and stuff. But so that's I came it. back. I was like, fuck it. I top ticked that shit. That's all. Blind. Awesome. Fucking blind. I mean, this and is I'll, these lines and everybody's like, is what... dude, uh, everybody who's not in MIC is what are lines? Uh, of course there's lines. There's lines. There. Yeah, <laughs> are you paying attention to the right lines? Like, yes, there's lines. Of course. Are you paying attention to the lines that make us money? <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's, that's how confident it is. Once you have a good system, man, that you fucking done for a long time. Yeah. Um, I have complete confidence in the system. That's why I can leave. With doing this just like you, see? Uh, the problem is the operator, dude. I fuck up when I DB from that process. Shorting low float over VWAP is not the fucking process. Dude, it's, I, I swear to God, Val, I, do you know how many times I've been squeezed doing that? Like, I, I can't do it anymore. I, I just can't. I... So, Bro. dude, Tosh is now a super consistent trader because you know why he lost his ass just like the rest of us? <laughs> and so now he developed dude. a fucking process. And it fucking works for him. Bro, crypto in... Was it end of 2017 or was it 2018? I got, dude, Lex Luthor brought out the kryptonite dildo, man, on me. Like, I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, in that crypto phase where everything crypto ran, sector play, everything, I got annihilated, bro. Yeah, I dude. annihilated. Because so every time I, you think it was the top, it's not the top. <laughs> bro, I had yep. to rebuild myself. And I had to be like, you know what, man? Like, we're all real guys. What works for me? I'm a very emotional trader. I'm, look, I talk quick. I'm an emotional guy. Um hard stops man i i introduced hard stops kind of prop firm trading of a real big structure in my game and it's like it, it, it just took off man so yep. like i i, I so what, what you did is there's a couple of things so before you're kind of winging it there's no plan right you were kind of winging it you're like this stock is up enough up too much i'm gonna sort it <laughs> now is that anything in life man it's like you don't go to the grocery store knowing what you want you win like, i forgot the whole recipe for and I, and I, I come home with just fucking alcohol and beer and potato chips i'm like what the fuck <laughs> Dude, your girlfriend's like, I thought you were going to get the fixings for Hot Pot, and all you brought was Jagermeister. So, so listen to Tosh, man. So he, he started learning. This is the steps. He, he started learning technical analysis through the lines. Yeah. He started to learn the low-hanging fruit, which I taught him, like, before we launched. That's and and so, he, he fa so he started with one consistent strategy and built a process around that. And then he – then, but the thing is, it's not, not enough because what happens is this. He starts to make money, and then the one trade will wreck you. Dude, green 30 days in a row, the 31st day, then some. And it's like... And, and that's why the hard stops come in. The, yeah. the risk management needs to be fucking there. And so that's what Tosh, the last layer that he put on was risk management, and that's what saved him, man. And that's what saved so. me. For six years, I was like, fuck risk management. Like, what? Like, it, it sounded like almost 
I had such a big ego about it. Honestly, Val, it was, it almost sounded like I'm not a pussy. I'm not going to take this L. What? Why would I do that? Yeah. Dude, you have to. You have to. That, that's what happened to me yesterday. That's what happened to me yesterday, man. That's happening yesterday. So, you yeah. know, you know the triggers. And so, fuck, dude, I, I, I just need to. My, my problem is I can't be around the computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your crazy. Yeah, yeah. No. My, I just need to get honest. the fuck out. And then, uh, and so everybody knows what their thing is, man. So, Yours was, you know, uh, you, you, you have to put your hard stops. I need to leave uh, to fucking ba- ba- basically I need a tab to fucking scream at me. Uh, yeah. wh- whatever it takes. Everybody's different, man. So, so well, it's awesome. Just, so, and here's what's so, cool, like, to kind of book in that, though, is I realized, man, it's like there's nothing better than self, like, uh, reflection as a trader. Like, dude, what, like, go into your trades. Like, what do you lose on? I lose on two things. And this is why Bob created that list that I just posted to members. Bro. I cannot play a phase two stock every time I end up like, even if I start the day with money, by the end of the day, I give back my phase two reverse splits. <laughs> it, the, yep. the drives play does not exist anymore. Re- reverse splits are not short. Close your eyes. Yep. I, I did well on drives back when Alex did and all that stuff. And I got to tell you, man, like I kind of went into the years after that being like, oh, dude, reverse split. Just short, like, you know, blindly short. You can't. So I avoid them all nowadays. Like CEI. My rules are so in place nowadays. That's my personal process. Because I can be in front of screens all day, no problem. I don't get FOMO. But I do get stupid. And that's where I was like, oh, man, you know what? Eliminate this entirely. Now I just don't take big losses anymore. Put in hard stops. Never short anything under 3 million flow. And I don't hit sector plays, phase twos, major acquisitions, or recent reverse splits. And it's correct. Definitely. And uh, one thing I like about the way you're doing, Taj, you're you're okay with missing a trade. You're okay with yeah. not trading at all, and that's oh, that's yeah, what. Yeah, dude, that's but, fucking phenomenal. And Taj is the only guy I know that fucking takes a shower during the market hours. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck, bro? Hard <laughs> stop. I can't even take a piss. I'm pissing in my fucking pants, and Taj is here fucking showering in the middle of the fucking day. I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, that's because like... he has his stops in. Think about it. He has his stops in. Has his orders in. Fuck, go live your life. <laughs> it was either an expensive shower or the shower paid me. So, I mean, that, that's the thing. Not everybody's a full-time trader, guys. You do not need to be a full-time trader to start making money and to supplement your income. And so the way that Tosh trades is exactly how a guy with a job should be trading. That's exactly right. And I, and I don't have another job. Like, it, literally, it's perfect for a nine-to-fiver. It's, oh, my God. It's perfect. Like, so, so, guys, if you, if you have a job, you want to learn – Tosh is the man, you know, come to him. Dude, he'll get on the call with you. I mean, I think it's just too cheap. I'll, I'll teach you everything. <laughs> Tosh is cheap. Tosh is cheap. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a cheap one. Like, I, I, like, just I'm don't cheap. go on a date with him. Unless you... <laughs> That's what the word reads about. I'm, I'm easy and I'm cheap. I don't drink, so I'm a cheap date and I'm very <laughs> <laughs> but you, But you have to pay in other ways. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. You want to talk about that? That's a whole other IG Live, let me tell you. Uh, uh, that's another call. That's uh, not going to be recorded. That's, that's another. That's another MIC. That'd be MIC secretary. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, this is this is fucking awesome. Um, I'm gonna let Tosh go, but but this is the way to do it. Dude, we have so many different guys at MIC doing all sorts of different things. And you're gonna find one mentor that is gonna work for you. And in my opinion, man, Tosh is the fucking man. He he is Thanks, the bro. basically the dude. He went through the steps that all the traders go through, man. And he's figured out a process for himself. He's uh, he developed it himself with the guidance of other people. That's, so that's the thing. You you don't have to copy all our stuff. What you do is you take the best pieces from each person and make it work for yourself, and then combine it with your own process. Oh so my that, god, that's... Val, yeah. Do you know how much of my strategy I have you in there? I have Alex in there. A couple of buddies who I used to trade with, bro. It's a culmination. Of just everything that you you never know who you're gonna bond with. Yep, you never know. Yep. Yeah. And every, everybody has a different personality, so that's the thing, man. You have to make it work for your personality. Um, you, you're the one that best know yourself. But the key is the strategies fucking work, dude. I taught, we taught Tosh how to do it. We taught a bunch of people how to do it. it. Once again, it comes down to the proper process and risk management, and we do teach you guys how to do that. And the, and the end of the day, it's up to you, man. Seriously, uh, you, you can have all these rules in place, but if you do not follow the rules, Hey man, that's life, right? <laughs> dude, what, what, Thanks. dude, bro? Like, here's the thing, though. It's like, man, it's so funny, bro. Because like, I have to say this. It's like, of course, like, I'm biased. MIC, like, 
I love MIC. It's the greatest thing ever. I think like if this was out six years, hey, Oliver. it would have changed everything, right? Like MIC is the biggest game changer of life. But I will say, bias aside, guys, like what more do you want? We teach you how to stay safe. We got 400 videos. You can get on calls with us. We hide nothing. You see all our charts. It's like literally every strategy we've ever done. Bow shows his losses like on a day that he has 42. It's like, what more do you need? You're going to learn. But the most important thing, and I try to make this clear to new members, which I'm going to give a webinar in an hour, is you're not a number at MIC. I want to get to know your name. I want to get to know your style. Bow wants to, we're going to shake your hand. If you come to like Philly or wherever we go, we travel a lot. The point is, is there's a lot of places where you're just a number or you're just a sheep. Dude, it's such a personalized, fun experience. You can meet your best friends in MIC. There's girls now. Maybe you can meet a girl. I don't know. But, <laughs> <laughs> or a guy pretending like, to be a girl. <laughs> Girls outside of MIC, but it's up to you in MIC. Hey, hey, but don't worry. In MIC, a, a girl is a real girl. In Twitter, no. A girl is Twitter, a no, dude. <laughs> no, dude. I learned my lesson on Twitter. That's the, thing, man. that's the thing that's so sad is I've even really calmed down my presence on Twitter over the years. It's become so dead. Everybody hates everybody nowadays. It's like, <laughs> oh, dude, there. it's horrible, dude. It's I got tro so I, I was talking, angry. Oh, my God, dude. I woke up this morning. I, I, I looked, and there's all these fucking like tweets to me saying that I'm hiding losses. I'm like, fuck, I spent the entire day and I just did an IG live talking about my loss. <laughs> <They're> saying, <laughs> I'm fucking hiding my loss. I'm like, I'm bro, like the, what the fuck? <laughs> bro, the, the, it kills me, bro. I mean, I can't tell you how many, so many good friends have come and gone in this industry and like, they don't even like me anymore. And I'm just like, dude, it's like, I'm still me. You're still you. We're just doing the damn thing. We're normal fucking guys. Just well, it, it, it comes out of the ego. And that's what it's taught. You. That's one thing I love about you, man. You, 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 you are a phenomenal person, man. You're a beautiful human being, but you stay so you humble. You. you stay so fucking humble, dude. dude you know, I it's like that, that's that's something day. that you know. Thanks, bro. Seriously, I mean, I mean you that. and Alex are two of the most humble people I've ever met. So it's like not to toot our own horns or anything on an IG live, but I mean, this is why we've all kind of like banded together and have a lot of fun and do what we do every day and, and want to spread that joy man is because look if you're not having fun in your life man something's wrong and like you can be stressed in your life because maybe your financials are not right i when i started trading guys when i started trading i borrowed money to trade it was stupid oh now let's talk about it real quick let's, let's do it tell your story dude it's fucking phenomenal now no, you're out of dude, debt dude. now you're out of debt Bro, I was stressed for the first two and a half years, man. I, I took out, I, I had like amazing credit back then. I had like 800 and whatever you can, can have back then, right? Like it was insane. I had every credit card known to man. I borrowed money from family. I borrowed, six years ago, I borrowed money on credit cards and I found loopholes to like send it through PayPal. So like, it's like, a, <laughs> so it's, it's like a charge, right? Like without like recurring all this Let's not interest. tell people that stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna tell you how to loophole the system. I'm a genius, but whatever. Um, no, so, you know, you borrow money and then here's, here's the, here's the best part. I, my life when I started trading was upside down. It was not right. I was, I still had a job that probably couldn't cover, you know, taking $500 losses a day. And I was working all these random jobs, construction, extra work for the film industry, all this bullshit. Film industry. Well, I, I <laughs> dropped my affiliate link on Pornhub right now. <laughs> I'll show you my favorite categories. So you got, it's like Val says, guys, you got to get your life right, man. If you, if you don't trade, if you're in debt, don't trade. If you have a ton of credit card, that is going to weigh on every tick, every tick. I, I always say like, right. if you're, if you're live in chaos, your trades is going to be in chaos because you're stressed. And, um, yeah. It, and the thing with trading is this guys, I keep telling people, you do not need fucking money to trade. You don't. The, the first, not, the first year is learning. Debt. The first year is learning. That, dude, oh my wow. God, that's the Val. We should talk about that for a second. So, yeah. every, that's the number one thing thing that people come to me and chat and they're like, "Tosh, I got a twelve hundred dollar account. I got a twenty thousand dollar account, but I, I I'm so scared about this." Blah blah blah. I'm like, "Why are you trading real money? You've been trading three months and you're trying to risk all this real money. Why, bro? I've been trading six years and you know what? I wish the first two years was on paper. I wish I would I would be or small size, a hundred shares or some shit. Yeah." I'd be four hundred thousand dollars richer because of all the stupid losses, the clear yep, errors. Yep, I didn't yep. know how to use DOS right. I overcover, and now I'm long a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, happens so many times. Dude, or like I wouldn't even I know I'm in a position. I'm like I wouldn't even know I'm in a position. <laughs> well, you're the king of that. <laughs> so the 
point is, is like, bro, why are you risking real money? Year one is foundation. Now, that used to be year one. Now it's like MIC. It's like you can learn foundation <laughs> two months, man. You get on yeah, call yeah. with me three times a week. Yeah. You talk to Austin, bro. You watch our videos. I swear to God, Bell, I took they're, – they're more of – I'm not going to say their names or anything because we don't, we don't really boast this. But, man, I've already clocked, like, I think four guys in MIC – that have never taken a trade in their entire life before MIC. Brand new guys, like didn't know shit. Got on a couple calls with me a week, like every single week, they were really diligent. They were like, Tosh, like question, 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 question. I was like, dude, I'm gonna answer these. Of course, I wanna help this guy, he's hungry. There, you, oh man, you just wanna help a hungry, humble kid who wants to put in the work. Like you just wanna help that guy. And who's positive. Dude, I've taken like four traders from never placing a trade to make like 600 bucks a day. Like wow. in five months, to three months, I'm like, what? I'm like, can you train me? Can you train me? <laughs> I'm like, bro, it took me two and a half years. I'm like, what is this shit? Dude, that, that's the thing people don't understand. It's like, if you're doing this shit on your own, it's going to take you like five, six years, and you still uh, may never learn. Dude, the thing Nico, is, it, yeah. shout out Nico. It took him seven years, bro. I, I'm it's telling you guys, it's, the, the hard part is if you do this shit on your fucking own, there's some shit you would never fucking learn. You just don't know it. But it, 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 all these rules were based upon all my fucking losses. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? And so I was like, fuck, the, it's, it's the learning curve, the trial and error, it's gone. You start with a foundation that fucking took me hundreds of thousands of dollars to fucking build from yeah. losses. And oh, years oh, of yeah. fucking frustration. You know how many times I've fucking lost shorting, like, at fucking 11 a.m., 11.30 before I realized there's a zombie rule? And that's how f a few years ago I fucking, like, Holy motherfucker. I went back to my trades and I realized all these fucking parallels. I found patterns and that's how I came up with a zombie. Fuck, dude. This is not a coincidence. Zombies are not coincidence. And if you didn't know, you're going to die. You would go broke before you found out that it's, that was a fucking it's, rule. Bell, it's as simple as knowing that. 1030. It's as simple as knowing that. Volume dries up. They rip it. Zombies, you're dead. You're, you're dead. dead. It's and, one And most thing. guys would never... You didn't, you not have enough bankroll to fucking trial and error that fucking mistake. You you would get blown up, and you would never do it. So I keep telling people, it's like, man, why the fuck are you having an ego? But, but those are the type of guys that we don't really want. And you hate the guys that are too egotistical to learn. I mean, even I, I, I mean, I fucking, I'm trying to learn every day. Like, Cruz today, man. Uh, we talk about affirmations. I'm like, holy fuck, that's something I've never done. No, like, I've done that my whole life. I've, yeah. Bro, I, I've got vision boards. I've got, like, lookbooks because I did the filmmaking. So we would do lookbooks for short films if I were to direct a short film. Dude, I do that for my life. I'm like, I want to see this home in 10 years. I want to see this, you know, villa. I, whatever, man. I want to see this watch. And this, like, visualize your <laughs> life. But so so if, my, if, if, if my vision board is a bunch of IG models, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> MIC vision boards coming at you in uh, 2020. <laughs> but, but it's funny because uh, I was never that kind of pokey pokey, I call it, because I'm a, I'm a scientist, right? I'm an engineer, so I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, that yeah. shit, right? And, and, I, and so I'm telling you, man, get, getting rid of my ego has fucking helped me. I, I'm, oh shit, I fucking, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that was work mode, man. Um, so that fucking, that fucking, uh, what did I say? I humbled enough to start doing these affirmations and it's fucking working. So it's like, you know, I got rid of my fucking ego and said, fuck this shit. It's like, uh, my problem has been too much of like resistance to learning new things. And so the moment I dropped it, I started learning from other people, including people that just started trading. It doesn't matter who you are. Everybody has a fucking lesson to teach someone. And so that's what makes it fucking great, man. So, I mean, I love your strategy, Tosh. I wish, I Thanks, wish, bro, yeah. I'm telling you right now, I, I wish I had fucking learned this shit well before I fucking I, when, when I started trading, dude. I, oh, I took too, so man. many fucking losses, and now I have bad habits. I'm trying to unlearn and all this fucking shit. So guys who are new, guys who are fucking new, fucking learn to trade the right way. Learn to trade the right fucking way. Yes, man. yes. And, um, it's, and it's like a mindset, too, like you said earlier, Bow, and like what Cruz said. What's the shout-out, Cruz, man? That was amazing, is don't be – so unhumble that you're like, oh, I'm going to make money today. It's not that. But focus on the making money. That's why the affirmations come into play. It's like if you go into the DMV knowing it's going to be the worst day of your life, you're going to create that for yourself. But if you go in like, you know what, maybe I'm going to be open to this. I'm going to be open to meeting somebody. Maybe it's going to be easy. You might draw that to you. 
Same thing with trading, man. Don't go in like, I'm going to fucking rape the markets. I'm going to do it. Don't be that guy. But be the guy that says, okay, okay, my setup's here. This is my criteria. I'm going to make money on this if I follow my process. And if you don't, that's the time that we don't. That's the one time out of 10, your hard stop saves you. You don't make money that day. But guess what? Your mental's still intact for tomorrow. Because, Val, yep. how hard is it to come back the next day after a big loss, man? It's tough. It's tough. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it's tough, man. It's tough. Uh, it's I've, tough. I've gotten better because my – my vision board has changed. <laughs> My affirmations <laughs> have changed. And I'm not. I'm not joking. I used to fucking be so. I mean, I'm. I am an old dinosaur, man. I look young, but you know. But dude, you look. Like, <laughs> you look, dude. I look older than you, man. I got all these my, pros. I'm. A, I'm. I'm on my third liver transplant. <laughs> <laughs> I have to take Viagra just to wake up in the morning and pee. <laughs> Viagra just to pee. Dude, I have to take my Viagra just to get, get morning wood, you know? Alex is going to die when he rewatches this back, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm a fucking dinosaur, and, and so and I, I, the, I, I'm still fucking learning every fucking day, dude. Me and too. and, and I, I'm telling you, dude, it's like it's, it's the whole when you drop your ego, the whole thing fucking helps you out, man. Your Fuck whole you world opens this. up, man. If you just yeah, drop man. Me, I, your whole world opens up, man. Anytime I'm like, you know what, I figured this out, life goes, fuck you. And I'm like, oh, great. And that's anything. That's anything, bro. I, and, like, and, day, yeah. So th I live in California, right? Los Angeles. The other, well, I'm in the process of moving, but I'm in LA. The, the, the trolls want to know where you live. What's your address, bro? Well, it used to be in Burbank. <laughs> Come get me, trolls in Burbank. Oh, wait, I don't live there anymore. Um, no, yeah. so, bro, I, I, was, I had this 7.1 earthquake, and, bro, I was in the house, and the house started shaking so bad. I was like, I got, I got a small dog, man. I got to take this little guy outside so he doesn't, like, something doesn't drop on his head. And uh, it, it was like, it was crazy, man. It's like, we take so much for granted, just daily life, man, just enjoying what we do and stuff. It's like, we always have to take it, man, and just be like, man, we're so, like, so grateful for our lives and what we do and focus on the good, man. It's just, life's a blessing, man. And if you're not having right. fun, you're just, right. what's the fucking point, man? You drown out in a nine to five, hate your life, go to sleep, everything, and just exist? No, man. So the ways to get to where bow or alex or any of us at mic did who are full-time trading or whatever you know put the time in and and man uh, so for the first three years bow i studied 14 hours a day no women for the longest time no nothing i did dude i did if, if i wasn't watching stocks i was recording it later re-watching it screenshotting charts putting in trader view i was doing everything in uh, dude how many years did i pester you bow through pms until you're like Oh shit! Who is this fucking guy? Yeah, and yeah, became best yeah. buddies, but yeah, dude. So let me ask, let me ask you. So all that all that fucking work and it still didn't work, right? Oh my so god! So what was well, the missing the link? Thing. Here's the thing: all that work worked to a certain. I had put fourteen hours a day. Guess what? For the first two and a half, mm -hmm. three, I was barely profitable. You know why? I learned to trade. My entries were good. Could never do risk management. Could never do it. Right, thirty days, thirty first day, I'm dead. I didn't know about zombie roll. I'd fight my ass off. I'd short front side. I was the king of front side shorting until it didn't work. And then I'm dead. So, yeah. Yeah. And so, that, so that's the thing, man. It's like, fuck, there's only so much you can do on your own. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to keep telling people, man. People think, hey, I'm going to study this shit, learn on my fucking own. I become consistent. I guarantee you there's a lot of fucking shit that you do not know. And, you know, there's a lot of shit I do not know. And so – this is this group environment learning shit is getting minds of a thousand other traders yeah, into fucking bro. doing this. But, but I, I've, I've learned never... from people about I've learned from people in MIC. I'm not the best trader. You're not like dude, dude. We're the best in what we do for us. That doesn't mean we're better than X Y Z, dude. I see people's charts. I'm like, wow, is that what he thought? They're like, it happens, bro. We even learn. I mean, we're gonna learn for the next hundred years doing this job. It's like. If we last, them, yeah, I mean. it's like, dude, when you're trading in a vacuum, a bubble, dude, you keep doing when you do anything by yourself, it's like, too linear. that's all you know. You're looking, through yeah, a man, hole, man, fuck, dude. So, so my mind opened up when I started seeing other. I used to be the only guy on Twitter that posts a chart. I now everybody's yeah. posting a chart, and so I'm learning from other people. I, I fucking love it. Before, it'd be like, fuck, dude, I thought I was doing fucking phenomenal until I looked at someone else who's trying to go, fuck, my fucking exes are horrible. Dude, right? I, my, <laughs> my exits were terrible, and nowadays, like, with the hard stop set in, my fantasy covers and risking even, what's the worst that can happen? I go even or I get payday, and that's where it changed for me. I was like, dude, I learned how to let my winners run. 
I mean, Bal, how many times are you like, oh shit, dude, you held throughout the whole thing? I was like, yeah, but but honestly, bro, like, you know. It, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start doing all this, but and that's the thing, man. I never did this because I traded in a vacuum forever. Yeah. I was so like, I'm not gonna show anybody what I did. I was making a shitload of money, um, but I could have made a shit more money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's the that's fucking right. shit. Um, and so now this environment is fucking great. We're learning together. I'm learning all this shit. I never fucking get a stop order because I'm like, fuck, uh, who the fuck does stops? <laughs> Bell, but Bell, how funny is that, bro? It, with all your success and all the money you've made in trading over the last, what, 16 years now, right? Like 16 plus? You've never even used the stop. Imagine if you use those from the beginning. Imagine, fuck, dude. Imagine. If I, imagine if I fucking understood like these rules that I come up with. Like how many times I fucking lost money? I didn't know what a death line. I didn't know the fucking backside. Yeah. I was like, this stock is up enough. I didn't even know about filings, dude. I traded in a vacuum without knowing anything about fucking filings, and I made millions of dollars not knowing that shit. Imagine exactly. if I fucking learned that shit. Fuck, dude. I think that I think here's the thing about MIC that I love is. I, I swear to God, I feel like we're the only guys like out there that, that are like, guys, it's as simple as A, B, and C. Now, trading is not easy, but it is simple. It's simple in the sense that it's about risk management. It's about fantasy orders. So, like, I get on calls with guys. I'm like, look, this is not an easy profession, man. And a lot of people are not even made to risk money. That's not easy. Are you a risk taker by, or are you risk averse? But I will say trading can be boiled down to getting a good entry on fantasy orders, protecting yourself with that. And dude, I mean, there's so many things in between, but that's what it is. Get the best yep. entry. How do you get the best entry? We've got a ton of videos on it. That will teach you that. How to do the lines, how to do the indicators. It's just risk management on top of that, bro. Get a good entry. Right. Risk management. It's a process. It's your that's process. It. You, you fucking, you have now a complete circle a process. Before it was missing a bunch of pieces. It was like, it was like it was like yeah. you're about to complete the puzzle, and you're like the dog ate two or three pieces. <laughs> so so seriously, dude. That, that's why uh, that 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 was why it was like, dude. If you, if you you know you're getting closer and closer, you just don't know what it is. And so, dude, get on a call with Tosh, man. I'm telling you, it, it, it ultimately comes up exactly what Tosh says. You have a good entry, and you have a good risk management. And the risk management is basically your exits. That's what oh. it is. What, 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 I mean, honestly, like we can even delve further. Here's how to be successful in trading. You don't short front side. You just don't do it. It's so cliche. It's so simple, but you long front side until the dips don't work. You wait for the death line on day one, short the death line and the pops under it. If it's still heavy and there's room to come down, that's shorting on day one, low hangers, the red to green line, the previous high of day, that's a low hanger, especially when longs are bagged. You, you do your fantasy order. Like I said with the guy with the starter, I said, stop with that fucking starter at 370. Throw your starter at four, and that is now your fantasy order. That is an outer line, the, and especially if it's in zombie hour, and then you size down. And then risk management, man, put a hard stop in there. That is the success, man. That is the formula. So if you can just, again, again, it's hard to lose, or it's hard not to make money when you do that, but it's when we don't do that, Bell. It's when you do CEI yesterday, and, and then you take a big hit, man, or when I do, because we've thrown out the most simplest strategy that works for us daily, the most simplest process, and it just takes right. one. It just takes fucking one, dude. It takes one, I, dude. Now, remember Elfin, remember Drys, remember BPTH. Uh, we never thought we'd ever see anything like that again. They fucking come back, dude. There's another one. Every two oh. months, every two months. Every, every, every everybody two months. on Twitter, bro, everybody on Twitter, there'll never be a drive one to one, four to one twenty again. Bullshit. Elfin. Bullshit. <laughs> BPTH. Bob, Bob, Bob. Beyond Meat killed a lot of people too. <laughs> beyond Meat? Beyond Meat. But Beyond Meat started as an IPO, right? So that's a little right. different. Yeah. All I but mean is this there, over there, bias. Uh, black swans happen more often than not, dude. There's a bunch of black swans in my backyard. So <laughs> every time I step out of the house, I'm telling you, man, people think, hey, this shit can't happen. It doesn't need to happen every day. It just needs to happen to you one time. It just needs to happen to you one Dude, you only got to get rich once, and BPTH only has to, like, shove a broomstick up once. You know what I mean? Oh, dude, that, that, that story, man. I, t I tweeted that story. I know the guy, too, man. It's fucking like, he's a... You know, he's a good market maker. He makes a shitload of money. And the fucking one trade wipes out $16 million. Bro, bro. I, oh, I, now it's crazy, man. I remember back in the day when I even used to trade people, and I would never name names because I, I just, look, 
other people's business is not my business and especially not publicly but man i've seen really good traders i mean really good trade that i looked up to saw them wiped out man and i was like oh and sometimes live and i was like oh my god that was my buddy he was so good i hope they're trading now i don't know but yeah dude this, I, this, I, game, I, this game is I, I, dangerous I, I, man i i've been in a room i mean I've been in a room with like top traders, like private room with top traders. He's a I big multi million, and I've seen one guy lost a million dollars in front of me. I um, was so like, "Holy yeah. fuck!" Um, and we 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 warned them and all that, uh, but that same day now, but now he bounced back. He's fucking doing phenomenally. Uh, a lot of people do not get that second chance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, but but in this industry, you either fucking learn or you go bankrupt. That's it. Simple. You, you, it's, it's simple. It's, it's you learn or you go bankrupt, dude. It's like, and the thing with, with this, you have to keep up, uh, keep up with it because it changes every fucking week, man. Oh, every what day. what worked what work yesterday is not going to work today. About you know, every like, three days, I'm like, what's the market sentiment right now? Like, who's in control? Or have like right now we are in a market this week and maybe the end of last week. Faders, we're getting faders. Shorts are favorable right now, but guess what? Until they're not, until CEI. <laughs> until like, CEI fucking blew, blew up everybody else. There. Until CEI, because the stubborn shorts go, dude, what worked for the last three days? Fuck it. I'm going to be yeah. casual. I'm going to wing it on day four. You're dead. You're dead. You know, you know what it is, man? So CEI was a reverse split. It was fucking very sneaky. I didn't even know it was a reverse split. If you didn't do uh, uh, analysis on it, you, yeah. you, 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 I thought the fucking float was $14 million. Yeah, Bow, you wouldn't the, even know. You got to scroll back if you don't do yeah. it. In that, I, I scroll back. I, and thank God, I, fu man. I fucked up because I was winging that shit. That shit, see, I was actually on an outer screen of mine. Uh, yeah, and I looked yeah. at it and I was like, bam, let's short this shit. No, bro, a lot of people didn't know it was a recent reverse split. I was trying to like tell people in chat because like, I don't, I don't touch those. That's not, dude, I lose on those. I've like, made money dude. on those reverse split pumps every time until this. <laughs> so that's the thing. It takes a long time. And you break, and the thing is, the bad habit was I made money all the fucking time on it uh, until this time. And all it takes is yeah. one. Well, all it takes is, I mean, we can even get more specific. All it takes is 15 minutes. 15 <laughs> minutes, five oh. to nine. Five oh, to dude. nine. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you something. It's like, you know, you, you can either cry about it or learn. And I think everything happens for a reason because this, this m number may seem huge, but imagine if I had like, like fucking like use a giant account i could have fucking blown it easily like six figures you know, saying a lot well, of people you know what? Like, Bell, i'm glad you just i'm glad you just said that actually because guys don't get discouraged coming into mic or maybe you're embarrassed because you have a two thousand dollar account it doesn't matter like all these guys on twitter who are like oh my god he only makes a hundred dollars a day he only makes fifty dollars a day he's not learning shit he's not are you kidding dude it's process it's foundation what like the hundred dollar days are blueprints for a thousand. The thousand yes, are blueprints. Yes. Dude, don't compare you, yourself. You, to I'm, I'm telling you, if if you can't make money trading a hundred shares, cannot be consistent making hundred dollars a day. What chance you got of making a thousand and losing a yeah, thousand every day? Yeah, so it doesn't uh, matter. It doesn't matter. So I'll, I'll tell you the blueprint for fucking this shit. I'm gonna make this up, okay? If you want to make a hundred dollars a day, you have to be willing to lose maybe two hundred bucks. Yeah. Meaning, yeah, meaning like totally because agree. that's two or five hundred, because that's gonna be your daily max loss, right? I and so the guys that the guys that want to level up too quickly, you want to make a thousand dollars a day. Are you willing to lose two thousand bucks for it? You've got you to kind of be willing to lose that, yeah. And so like, these guys are like, "Oh man, I'm making a thousand. I want to make ten thousand. Are you willing to lose twenty thousand dollars? Yeah. Is your it, bank is your bankroll sustained enough to fucking lose that? It, so you have to level up the right way, man. You have to slowly build your account to get the comfortable size. And one thing about size, I keep telling people, it's not just adding more size shares. Is knowing when to use the fucking size and when not to use the size. Bro, I did size wrong for four years. For four years, I, I finally got consistent. I, I, I'll let's just say the three-year mark. I think it was two and a half, but it might have been a three. I got consistent, and then I was like, let's double. Let's triple, baby. Let's go. Let's, let's drop the hog, right? You can't do that, man. you got to increment up to where you don't notice it. If you're using 500 shares right now and you're consistent and it's boring now, Use 600. Do not use 1,000. Don't use 1,200. Yeah. You can't account for in – who's right immediately? I, you, I mean, Val, even the top ticks, we have to scale to the top tick. It's almost hard yeah. to always get – you're not going to be right so instantaneously that you're just never going to see bigger red numbers that you're not, not used to seeing and you're not accounting for. So you've got to, like, man, right. if you're just making – like you said, Val, it's, it's incremental, man. You can't just double and, size. And let, let's say you, you're trading 500 shares. Um, the, the, and you're saying increase to 600. This is what you could do, okay? Uh, if you're trading 500 shares, 
and you want to start uh, feeling confident and, and you think your strategy is working, uh, don't size up every trade. Uh, size up the best setups. During the yeah. best setups, now you do maybe 700 shares and yeah. stick to your 500 on the other setup. The good set, pound it. Maybe do 1,000 shares. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Instead of just arbitrarily raising your your sizes across the board, be selective of when to use that size and when to push. Yeah, man, I love that. I love that. And it's like, it's like, his patience is so key in this game because it's like, Val, what, what would you rather tell a new trader, right? Like, try to make $100 every single day or try to make 300 two times a week on optimal setups that you back tested. You never lose it. Yeah. If you do, it's an anomaly. Dude, Say I that again, I Tosh. That's fucking, that hits it. No, Not many people Bro, understand. That oh fucking hits it. Say that one more time because that's fucking right. very important. Here's what changed the game for me outside of using hard stops. I realized that if I use inner lines and try to make a little bit each day, I am now risking mental capital. So in, in short, would you rather try to milk a little bit each day on sub and good setups, subpar setups and good setups, or would you rather hit three times harder two times a week and nail your A pluses and that's it? And I, then, love, I, I love that, dude. Yeah. I, that, that, that is uh, a problem I have, too. I love just fucking yeah. taking these little shit, but the big <laughs> yeah, shit know, wipe off. You love that stuff. <laughs> um, and that's wrong, bro. As a new trader, I, I'm able to do this. I'm experienced, but that, as a new trader, that's the wrong way to do it. The way you're doing is right. So yeah. instead of fucking taking these little fucking fucking dingy berry, dingleberry shit, right? You you can <laughs> you can you wait for the outer lines and you fucking wait for it. If it misses, misses. Now you have the fucking bro. play. We teach you how to do it. So there's See, many ways to fucking do it. It's if, just, bro, it's just, there's it's many math. ways to fucking trade. No, yeah. it's math. If you're trying to make, say your goal is a hundred bucks a day, right? And you're trying to do it five days a week. That's five hundred bucks, dude. What if you go to A plus sub and you nail it, and it's like three hundred bucks, but you do it two times a week? Yeah, two times a week. Yeah, yeah. Go live your life, less yeah. stress. You didn't fuck up your mental, and you made six hundred. Like what? Right. The, dude, this. And we have a lot of people in the in the room that do that. Do that. That's why you see all the guys on Twitter post uh, uh, zero. I traded zero today. And that's yeah. the whole that, that's the whole fucking mental mental thing that you're talking about. It's fucking I'm so beautiful. Proud I, to I love see it. That. I'm I love proud it. I love to see it. Traders having I love discipline it. to sit on their hands. I love it's it. Like, and, and once again, guys, this is a marathon. You learn these things first, and then you can start doing whatever the fuck you want to do. The moment you learn what you want to do is up to you, man. But the the whole point is we want you to fucking help you get to that point where now you're on your fucking own. So yeah, you know that's the whole thing, man. Teaching you to be self sufficient and. That's what it is. And I think that's the uniqueness of us. I mean, look, look, look at me. I'm fucking sitting around fucking in, in my sweaty ass shit. Bro, look, I mean, <laughs> like, my, like, what, like we're just normal dudes just sitting in our house. We're just, we're just I'm telling you, I'm just a fucking normal guy with a lot of mental issues and drinking problems <laughs> and, and women problems and all sorts Bro, of fucking you want, problems. You want to talk about women problems. And, and if, if me and Tosh can fucking do it, I mean, that's the fucking shit. <laughs> if we can learn this shit, I mean... Dude, you, you, if you were more fucking disciplined than us, you can fucking you'd be better than us. I'm well, right I now. told, uh, I told, what's his name in chat? I think it's Nevi. I told Nevi in a PM yesterday. He was like, bro, like, what's going on in like your personal life? I said, don't follow anything in my personal life. Maybe follow my trade. Don't follow anything in my personal life. I'm just a normal degenerate going to have his fun wherever I can find it. I said, so, so, so someone, so someone just, so someone just uh, put a comment. Is it true I lost 100,000 yesterday? It's so fucking funny. Oh it's like the troll, the, the troll. <laughs> The trolls start to press the shit. Bow's hiding losses. And I'm like, what the fuck? I, I just did a two-hour IG live telling people I lost money. I did uh, 10 hours of fucking recap yesterday telling people I lost money. So I'm, first of all, I'm hiding money. Now Now the number has just doubled and ballooned tripled now. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll be like, Bow went broke. Uh, someone said, like, Bow has to raise prices in MSC to cover his loss. <laughs> Now it's two twenty a month. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, that means like the the days I'm making fucking every money for a fucking a month straight is like no one. The troll says fake. Now the moment I have one loss, it's like oh fuck, man. MIC is gonna go bankrupt. He has to raise, uh, raise prices. <laughs> it's, 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 I, I gotta tell you though, I had such a love for Twitter for so long lately. I was just like, uh, oh man, just just DM me and I'll help you. But it's like God, it's such a cesspool of hate nowadays, and so many people just making up false stories. I'm like. Bro, where did they get a hundred thousand dollar <laughs> number from? You posted uh, your loss, like. That's the thing. I posted a loss. The uh, the funny shit. So I posted my fucking loss, and then I get this tweet from these trolls saying you hit your loss, and they send me a screenshot of me showing the number I lost, and I'm like, how the fuck is I hiding my loss? You have the screenshot where I said how much I lost, <laughs> and you're like I'm hiding the loss. I'm like, 
Dude, you screenshotted where I said how much I lost, and you posted to people saying I hit my loss. I'm like, bro, you have the screenshot. That means I didn't hide my loss. <laughs> no, no, this is this is like the equivalent of like uh, your Tiger Woods and some girls like he got me pregnant, and it's like, what? he's like, who the fuck is this chick? <laughs> So I've before we log off, I, I, before I log off, I want to show people this affirmation that uh, Cruz was talking about. So this is what I wrote in the beginning of the day, and I read to myself over and over. And so when I when the market opened, I executed exactly my plan. I'm saying, so what I'm gonna read out loud. I am sticking to discipline and stopping soon. My goal was to follow my process today, and that's what I did. So this is at the zombie hour, right? Back to normal again. Only time I lose big is when I'm shorting low floaters as over VWAP, heavily rotated past zombie hours. So I am fucking telling myself, even though it looks attractive as fuck, get the fuck out. Don't fucking break your rules. Don't don't make bad habits into your routine. See, see, I lost because I did not do research prior to getting in. Then it was just a mental breakdown. The process and strategies we teach works well. Only operates the failure. So I keep telling myself this every fucking time. And whatever it may be, it fucking helped me. This is my vision board. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm a believer in this now. So, you know, um, I've actually never thought this was meditation. But Cruz, thank you, Cruz. This is fucking, it definitely fucking awesome. works today. And I'm going to fucking keep doing it, you know. Um, whatever it takes, man. So these are the things that it's like you humble down. Like Cruz is, a, a, you know, a, a relatively newer trader. But I'm listening to him, and it's, like, fucking phenomenal. His advice is fucking phenomenal. So, you know, hit him up on Twitter as well, man. So before I leave, it's, like, take a look at uh, – this is my mental prison every fucking day. <laughs> it's, such a, so, it's such a beautiful prison, Val. It's, it's really beautiful. So, I mean, uh, so – I don't know, man. Hello, trolls. Hello, fucking – I don't know. <laughs> I have one guy that says um, – Oh, uh, it's funny, dude. So, I, I, lo I, I love these troll stories because they're, they're funny as fuck, dude. So I'm going to end it with this because it's kind of humorous for me. So people say, oh, don't worry about the trolls. I, don't, I never worry about the trolls, guys. I've been trolled for fucking 20 years. So I've been trolled since I came to America. So it doesn't Seriously, fucking matter, right? It's crazy, um, bro. Uh, usually, uh, what, you know, at first it was like, oh, you're bragging about shit. You're selling the lifestyle. And then when I lost, um, uh, one other troll was like, before MIC, they never showed that they had fancy cars, fancy lifestyle. All of a sudden, they have fancy shit. All their money is from MIC. I'm like, okay, so which way is it? Am I fucking like <laughs> – it's like – you know what I'm saying? It's fucking funny as fuck, dude. I know. Oh, man. Anyways, guys. So, but, 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 you know, do whatever you do. So, so, so instead of being negative on the trolls, you see how it is? I'm laughing at them. They don't fucking affect me at all. It's, it's actually comedy for me now. I'm, I'm actually, I love reading it now, and, and before I would get upset, but now I'm turning everything into positivity. So my whole thing now, guys, is you can look at the glass as half full or half empty when shit happens. I always look at the fucking half full. So it's the vision board shit. It's all that shit, and I believe it fucking works, man. I, I, I'm an old dinosaur, but fuck, man, I've been convinced that positivity in your head will get you there. And so I've been, as you know, as I'm working out now, I'm fucking, I'm not, I didn't fucking go to the. So the first step is attitude, attitude and attitude. humble yourself. And, and I'm telling you, the guys that are struggling, really sit down and think of why you're struggling. A lot of this is your mental breakdown. Um, and a lot of this as well as strategies. You do not know the strategies and humble yourself to fucking learn these strategies. Fucking hundred eighty dollars ain't fucking shit, dude. You fucking dude. You go to fucking movies and it's already a hundred bucks. And these yeah, guys, I can't afford. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? You yeah, fucking pay for. The, you're paying for a fucking not, Tinder subscription, you know? <laughs> bro, it's not like you come to MIC and we brand your skin and we're like, you can never leave like a freaking face brand. But I'm telling you, man, it's like, come in, spend hundred eighty dollars. You might lose five hundred in trade. We can show you how not to do that, and then you have access to all our shit. Seriously, like, seriously. Learn. We we give all the DVDs for free. We give the videos for free. We there's nothing to upsell. So that's so so the only reason the trolls are hating. We talked about again. I'm not going to talk about trolls right now again. But my whole point is, you can turn turn the negativity into a positivity. Whatever yeah. the fuck that happened, whatever struggles you want, use that. Everything happens for a fucking reason, guys. Yes. You're, listening to, you're re listening to this IG live because you want to learn something, guys. And so, fuck, man. Uh, just fucking do it. I mean, if I can do it, and I am not a perfect person by any fucking means. Tosh is or not. No one, and, and fuck, look at us now, dude. Fuck, everything fucking happens for a reason. And Tosh did not 
do this overnight. Six fucking years. I met him fucking two years ago yeah. before we launched MIC, and and he's a completely different person before, man. I'm telling you, it's like it, it's crazy, it's a, man. You just, you just sometimes it takes two years to get profitable.